There's people who have dreamt their whole lives about getting married in the perfect dress. For me, it's always been about having kids. That's been my thing. I was born to be a mom. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wasn't sure what to post about today. Tuesday is my film day for my YouTube channel. So I asked on my Instagram and the number one thing that came up was my trying to conceive journey, which is obviously <laughs> super personal and intimate. But if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that there's pretty much nothing that I won't talk about. I am an open book. This is what people want me to talk about. So this is what this video is going to be about. I'm first gonna kind of start with my pre previous pregnancies and kind of what happened. So my first and second pregnancy were both not planned to say the least. They were both really traumatic situations and there's a lot of details that I'm going to spare you guys. The first one I parented by myself the entire pregnancy. I was 100% by myself. I never had anybody by my side to go with me to doctor's appointments or anything like that. Had my baby by myself. I mean I had my mom she was there for me but i was mostly by myself for the second one i got pregnant in a circumstance that i should not have gotten pregnant in the condom broke and i took um a morning after pill and it did not work i got pregnant anyways the day after my period and if you guys know that's scientifically impossible according to the doctors you can't get pregnant the day after your period you don't ovulate around that time and there's no way this sperm could survive that long needless to say my daughter is a miracle baby i got myself in those circumstances and i was a single mom twice again pregnancy by myself the whole thing alone uh, the newborn stage everything by my Myself. They were traumas for me. Nonetheless, they shaped me into the woman that I am today. I don't regret it and I would never go back. I would do it all over again if I could have my babies. Going forward, I am now with the most incredible man I've ever met. This is the sanest, most incredible relationship I have ever been in. He treats me and the kids like just the most important thing to him and it's just I've never had a relationship like this and it's one of those things like people say you know and you know and that was it for us. I know there's a lot of judgment from people coming from all different angles. You guys need to be married first and like I get it everybody has their opinion on ways that they think that my life should be but at the end of the day I'm going to make the decisions that I make and I know being a public figure is even more pressure to do things the right way but if you guys saw my Instagram stories the other day talking about the right way in an ideal world you're going to go to school, go to college, get married, buy a house, have kids, and you have an exact sequence that the world wants you to go in. But that is not the route that I have gone my entire life. I've never followed that route. And so I'm going to do things the way that I want to do them. Me and him both really want a baby. We want a few more kids. I'm going to be 29 this year. We have 10 years to have more kids. And I've always wanted to have a super big family. I grew up in a huge family and it's something that was really important to me. It's like I've been just waiting for the right guy to have this family with. This is something I have been waiting for. People dream their entire lives about their wedding, getting married in the perfect dress and all of that. And that's never been me. That's never been my big fantasy in life. My big fantasy in life has always been to have a big loving family. That for me has been my goal. And so after my whole cervical dysplasia diagnosis and all that, the doctor said, you know, you can have more kids now. Just know that, you know, soon you might have to get this procedure. We'll test you again after you have a baby. But for right now, we do need you to just at some point know that you need this procedure unless it goes away on its own. So this is like your window right now to have kids. So we do plan on getting married. Absolutely. This year, we do want to get married before the end of the year. Right now, what we want is to have a baby. And so that is what we are working on. I didn't realize when you like, I've never planned a baby before so actually planning a baby it's like watching ovulation times and making sure everything happens at the right time and all of that and so it, I wouldn't say it's stressful but I would say 
I mean, I know it is stressful for a lot of people. Um, I have no idea if I can get pregnant right now. I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to get pregnant because I got my Mirena removed and sometimes it takes time for everything to kind of go away. It takes time for all the hormones to leave your body and then there's like a whole thing about the lining of your uterus and everything being prepared to hold a baby. And so I have no idea when it's gonna happen, but it is something we are trying for right now. I am taking ovulation tests. I'm spending a lot of time in the what to expect app. They have a community forum where you can talk to people who are trying to conceive, people who are pregnant and all that. And that's been super helpful. I got ovulation tests and I had no idea how to read them. I'm like, what does any of this mean? I'm taking prenatals. I'm taking my vitamins, my greens. I'm trying to exercise three times a week minimum, um, eat super clean. So I'm doing everything that I know to do. But this is kind of where I'm at right now on my trying to conceive journey. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I will let you guys know. My first baby, I had a C-section. My second baby, I had a VBAC, so a vaginal birth after cesarean. But I want to have another VBAC again. Not all hospitals will do it. Unfortunately, we have to travel a little bit away to be able to do that again. And I know a lot of people are like, well, why did you get a tummy tuck if you just wanted to have more kids? And I answered this in my previous video, but basically I just didn't want to deal with the pounds. I had eight pounds of skin removed off of my stomach. I just didn't want to get pregnant with all of that skin and I never knew if I was gonna, I never knew that I was gonna meet the man that I'm with now. I never knew I was gonna have more babies. It was never a for sure thing. I knew I wanted more kids, but I didn't know if it was gonna happen. For me, I would rather have gotten my loose skin removed and then had a baby belly, a cute baby belly. I didn't have that with my first two babies because I was almost 200 pounds my first pregnancy and then I gained 60 pounds. And then with my second baby, I was 212 when I started and then I got up to like 230, 240. And so I never really had a baby belly until like just the last few weeks because of my size. And so I'm super excited to have a baby belly. And as far as weight gain goes, I know some people are asking about that whole thing and I don't want to gain more than like 25 pounds. Like I said, my first Pregnancy, I gained like 60-ish pounds. And then with the second one, I gained like 30. And so I was already so big. I just, I don't wanna gain a lot of weight. I'm not going to use it as an excuse to eat everything like I did my first two pregnancies. It's not a time to abuse your body. It's a time to really take care of your body and nourish it. So I'm going to still continue to exercise um, under my doctor's suggestions. I am going to still eat super clean. I'm gonna to try to follow the outline of the 21 day meal plan as much as possible. I'm not trying to lose weight during my pregnancy, but I am trying to at least not gain too much weight because there's no good outcome out of that. You can end up with high blood pressure, the delivery is gonna be harder, everything. And so it is a goal of mine to not gain more than 25 pounds. And that's all I have for this video. Um, I will absolutely update you guys. I will see you guys next week for my Tuesday video. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you on Instagram.